friends welcome to our filmic so my search for the perfect smartphone hub continues and today we got a Casis 6 in 1 USB magnetic SSD enclosure plus docking station for mobile phones so this is an essentially all in one solution so you don't have to attach any hard drive externally and let's see what's inside and take a look and see the performance okay so we got our shiny uh, uh, all-in-one hub and as you can see it's a nice and sleek design it's got some heft to it and if you look on the front there's a fan built in so it won't get hot if we look uh, at the bottom we can see there's a host uh, you can connect your smartphone or your computer over here is the SSD activity light and there's another connectivity light and this is a PD power delivery 100 watt port if you look at the right hand side uh, we got HDMI and a USB-A and some vent for the fan and if you look at the left hand side we got another 10 GP USB-C port data port so you can connect external hard drive if you need or microphone or anything and micro SD card and SD card so these are the ports and the, at the back here is the here is a MagSafe connector so you can safely connect to your, your phone if you have the MagSafe connector or uh, host connected there so that's the externals what else you get in the pack hi so you got USB-C cable which is uh, 100 watt and we got two screws and some 3M stickers and the cooling pads ok so now let's take a look inside and see uh, what's inside and what we're gonna connect with it so it's very easy to just you can snap open with your finger like this and this piece comes apart and as you can see is a is a fan to keep it cool and this is a space for NVMe SSD uh, which we have over here so very simple and straightforward design just drop it in push it and you got to go so these are the heat pads or heat absorption pad you can put it over here and you can put the screw over here and you're good to go but I'm not going to do right now I'll just uh, close it and let's see okay so you can close just like this okay so now it's good to go you can use it you can attach with your phone or your computer and it should be able to uh, give you extra ports and uh, should give you access to the hard drive okay okay it's kind of better than the one we had already uh, Hagibis, Mer Hagibis magnetic hub because that card was a little bit extra out and this is really snug fit even though it's not flush with the surface but at least it's fit in there and let's see yeah with the SD card it's not a huge difference it's still sticking out most of the card I don't know why they don't do a little bit more space inside and the card goes a little further but that's not a deal breaker I mean if you like the rest of the stuff this should be okay all right 
Hi, so since we got the SSD in and everything is good to go, we got the SD card, micro SD card. So basically right now we have uh, three hard drive options in this one. Internal hard drive, micro SD and SD card. So it's a plenty of flexibility when it comes to recording uh, externally. So let's connect to the iPhone and see how it works. First of all, it's align. Just make sure to align the MagSafe. So, okay. So it snaps in and stay, stays in the place. Snaps in, stays in the place and good to go. So it seems like pretty a strong connection so it's not gonna fall off or anything okay so now we're gonna connect the hard drive to the iPhone and we are good to go so you can see the lights lights are on so that's mean hard drive is active and the hub is active okay so first of all we're gonna see if we can record the ProRes RAW internally okay so here is an iPhone and this is a video so if we click here yeah exactly right the way I can connect a uh, ProRes RAW and it's good to go so that's mean it's working perfectly it's working fine and if we start a video let's uh, ProRes So it's, gonna, it's starting the video in ProRes, it's not dropping the frame or it's not getting disconnect like the other one I had, which one I recommended earlier but I had a bad experience with it. I'll put a picture over here. So avoid that one. But this one seems like even the ProRes video, ProRes raw video is very uh, stable and seem like it's working as it was supposed to be. So, okay, so now we have a couple of more ports. We have USB-C and USB-A and HDMI out. Internal hard drive. So let's see. Yeah, so now it's 500. Um, the one I, we just installed inside. So see if you get that message again. ProRes, okay, ProRes RAW. Okay, so now we got the ProRes recording and let's see if it's going to give us that weird message. Okay, it's recording. So far so good. I think that was the slow micro SD card selected. That's why it was uh, giving me this message. So this is the V30 micro SD card, which is not optimal for recording the fast Apple ProRes raw video. So now it's recording into hard drive and we do not see any error message or anything okay let's stop it yeah so it's good to go i mean it's uh, uh, very nice nicely built all aluminum casing and no error messages or anything and i think if you wanna go with all in one this is the best choice so far i will be testing a couple of more and I'll keep you posted so but do not buy this one the one I'm just showing you in the picture that one kept disconnecting and this one I'm 100% sure it's gonna work perfectly thanks for watching and happy shooting